Hi guys and welcome to yet another product review from Q Listings. Today we are checking out the Bull Carbon Fiber Shaft from Koda. This carbon fiber shaft comes with a gradual rise pro taper. You can also expect to find the most popular pin options available. And guys, if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. You do that by clicking the icon in the right corner. The Bull carbon fiber shaft has a black collar, also referred to as the beauty ring. What's really cool about this is that you can actually change pin options just by changing this ring. The default tip is a Komui Black Soft and uh, the available tip sizes are 12.25 or 11.75. The shaft feels well balanced and if you sharpen your ears and listen closely now you'll get to hear what it sounds like when you hit the ball. So nothing weird going on there and I put this shaft on a Perry radial and it's almost 100% flush. You could feel some slight difference when you run your finger over it but nothing really that annoyed me. So it's time to take the cue out for a spin but first let me give you just a quick advice on how to properly clean your felt. So first use a brush, then secondly use a vacuumer, and then thirdly use this X1 from Simonis. I highly recommend it. You can't see it on the picture, but the left side of the table looked way better than the right side. Once again, click the icon in the bottom right corner and uh, you'll be able to win a queue once we reach 1000 subscribers. Okay, enough of that shameless begging for subscribers. Uh, over to the bull carbon fiber shafts. As I've mentioned previously in a lot of my videos, I've got 12, 15 different carbon fiber shafts and I'm putting them all to the test. With a price point at $399, I would say that the bull carbon fiber shaft sits nicely just in the middle of the price field. So does cheaper mean that it's not going to perform just as good as all the other more expensive shafts? Uh, my clear cut opinion on that matter is no. This shaft performs just as good as the more expensive, more well known brands. However, I would say that this shaft here, it's a little bit more conservative, a little bit more subdued compared to a lot of the other shafts I've been trying. And what I mean by that is that the action that you get on the cue ball is a little bit more subdued, yeah. It's not as flamboyant as you might get from uh, some other carbon fiber shafts. Obviously, I don't mean this in a negative way. It's just, you know, my opinion on the shaft. And if you're looking for a really, you know, flamboyant uh, shaft that gives you crazy action on the cue ball, Perhaps this shaft isn't for you, but if you're looking for a shaft that gives you great control of the cue ball and, you know, if you work it really hard, you can get all those crazy spins and, and power draw shots with this shaft as well. And in these kind of tests, I don't really bother to try to measure any differences in deflection because there's a lot of parameters that needs to be in place and uh, there's also a bunch of these tests out there already. And I really don't care, you know, because uh, the differences are minute. So uh, I'm not going to spend any time doing that in this video. However, I am producing a video using AI to give you uh, really accurate differences between 12 or 15 of the more well-known brand shafts out there. I don't mean this to sound like an episode of Mythbusters, but carbon fiber shafts, it's not about low deflection. Sure, carbon fiber shafts are low deflection shafts, but the main attributes is that they're going to give you consistent results over time. They will not warp, 
and it's more difficult to scratch and get dinks in these kind of shafts. That's the primary benefits of a carbon fiber shaft. So when you're doing your research for a new shaft, and if you're interested in carbon fiber shaft, I definitely can recommend this shaft from Bull. I do think that uh, you shouldn't stare blindly at the price because sometimes you know the more expensive uh, equipment uh, has better quality parts into it and obviously a uh, pool uh, cube shaft is built from several different parts and it's also a matter of what kind of customer service you're going to get pin options and all of these things so um, 399 for this to me sounds like a good deal and as I mentioned earlier, the beauty ring or the collar is also interchangeable. As of now, it's just the dealers that can change it. But I am told by the owner of Bull that this will be a tool. So you can actually change it yourself. So you can have two or three different rings and use the tool and change it depending on what kind of butt you're using. So to summarize at 399, this sounds like a great deal. You can change the... Um, beauty ring and uh, it's a conservative shaft made out of quality parts you get a Kamui tip that's also great Kamui is perhaps one of the best tip makers if not the best so yeah I could uh, with my hand on my heart say that I strongly recommend this shaft here so thank you for watching